live from downtown Spokane. This is 4 News Now, special edition. Tonight, two men are hospitalized following a shooting near Royal City in Grant County Friday night. Thanks for joining us here tonight. I'm Jordan Smith. Information still coming in on the shooting. Here's what we do know so far. Officers were called to Road 10 Southwest near Beverly Burke Road around 6 p.m. Friday night. And that's where police found two men suffering gunshot wounds in the chest. Those victims were flown to a hospital in Wenatchee to receive treatment. Police arrested 67-year-old Mar Marcerio Mendez Tovar at the scene. A gun was also recovered. But information still limited right now. We don't know what led up to the shooting. Grand County Sheriff's Office says that they're waiting to be able to speak with both the victims and Tovar. Thank you, Jordan, and we'll turn now to your forecast. It was a cloudy day, foggy day in many parts of the inland northwest, and it looks like we are right back on the fog train here tonight. Take a look at Coeur d'Alene, where you can already see the fog developing over Interstate 90 in the lights here, and I tell you what, I don't think we're that far away from seeing the cloud deck lower and becoming fog around the Spokane area. In fact, it shouldn't be very long at all, but you can see there's quite a big difference between which side of the state line you're on and what the conditions are like so far this evening. We've got fog and limited visibility across the Coeur d'Alene, Hayden areas, all the way north to places like Spirit Lake. Meanwhile, it's cloudy, but we've got some pretty good visibility all the way up to the West Plains from Liberty Lake. And once again, I do expect that to change later on tonight. Everybody's got a good chance of seeing a little bit of freezing fog. Temperatures will drop down into the upper 20s for lows tonight. So our weekend is a little ho-hum, but there's nothing about the forecast for the beginning of the week. That looks so hum as we got more active weather on the way. I'll show you that coming up in your forecast. All right, Matt, thanks so much for that. Tonight, some shocking new details regarding the woman's body that was found in a northeast Spokane field on Wednesday. That woman was 65-year-old Carol Street. And we do want to warn you that some of these details might be disturbing to hear. So sensitive viewers should maybe mute the TV or leave the room. Court documents say that the detec detectives are looking for evidence of a homicide. A search warrant reveals bloody clothes that could have been Carol's where were found in another field nearby. They also reveal when detectives found Carol's body, she had serious injuries to both arms and was missing a hand. Her pants were also pulled down. When detectives searched her home, the sliding glass door was open, but there was no sign of violence. The search warrant detectives have is for the field Carol was found in, her home and her dog. Carol's friends and former colleagues want people to know the person she was before her death. She was a counselor in the behavioral health field and helps people who were fighting addiction. Everyone we spoke to had nothing but great things to say about her. They say Carol's humor was infectious, she enjoyed fishing, and she was passionate about her work. I think what I'll miss most about Carol is the gratitude, um, the kindness, uh, again, her compassion. Um, she uh, never took anything for granted. Um, she bent over backwards to make sure that people felt loved and appreciated. Carol worked for the Spokane Regional Health District before she passed. The district released a statement saying, quote, we are shocked and saddened by the news. Carol was a joy to work with and was loved by her patients. She had a smile and a laugh that was infectious. You couldn't help but grin and laugh along. Our hearts go out to her family. As colleagues and friends of Carol, we share in the grief for, for the loss of such a wonderful person. She will be missed. And just a few blocks away in that same Minnehaha neighborhood, several people were detained Thursday night in connection to the deaths of Kiara Morgan Wheeland and Colton Russell last Friday. Spokane police say officers got a search warrant to the house for multiple crimes, including the investigation into two deaths over the weekend. Neighbors say a lot of foot traffic passes through that house every day. Something that's just been kind of upsetting us in the neighborhood about what's going on, and we're just kind of tired of seeing one house ruin the entire neighborhood. Police detained more than five people. The officers were inside the house all night searching for evidence. Spokane police and the medical examiner do remain tight-lipped about how Morgan Wheeland and Russell died. The major crimes unit continues to investigate this incident. 
And the man accused of killing a family of four in Kellogg is expected to plead guilty to lesser charge on charges on Monday. Major John Kaler will likely plead guilty to four second degree murder charges, which were downgraded from first degree. Now this change comes after mediation with an agreement from the state of Idaho, the victim's families and Kaler's attorney. Kaler is accused of shooting and killing Kenneth and Kenna Guardapi and teenagers Devin and Aiken Smith this past summer. On December 28th, the house where four University of Idaho students were murdered is scheduled to be torn down. That announcement was made by the university yesterday. The demolition will happen over winter break when the university says it will be late, the least disruptive for students. The school says it's another step forward in the healing process. In Moscow, the campus was relatively quiet as the week closed out. Students were finishing finals and hitting the road to return home for the holidays. The students and community members that we met with said that they didn't want to go on camera, but they did say that they felt the removal of the house was a positive thing. One student who lives about 20 yards from the house says between the boarded up windows, police tape and 24 seven security, the university's decision to tear down this house might help people move forward. Well, Christmas is just around the corner and some local shops in Spokane have had their hands full. Their stores busy with customers getting some last minute shopping in. It is a critical time of year for small business owners, especially for those who might have had a slower year. Peter Choi met with a few store owners today who are going all in to get more shoppers in the door, especially those looking for a last minute gift. I'm here in one of the small businesses in downtown Spokane. The store is busy with many customers for their Christmas shopping right now. The owner tells me the holiday season is the most important time of the year for small businesses. We're really proud to have been in business for 15 years. A local gift shop in Kazuri on Main Avenue is filled with Christmas spirit. From ornaments, Christmas cards, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas, and of course, Christmas music. You can be sure if you get a gift from Kazuri, it's not going to be like anything else under the tree. That's why these customers are here for buying something unique for a special person. Well, she loves supporting small businesses and I know that she loves stuff here. So She says they rely on the community to help keep their doors open, especially with the influx of shoppers around the holiday season. Really do the vast majority of our business at this time of year. So it's super important to us that um, we continue getting support from the local community. On Southfield, the owner of Sprucer Nest echoes how critical this holiday foot traffic can be. It's huge. I, I do most of my business in November and December. If you're searching for a last minute gift, Isaacson says she got you covered. Yeah, this weekend I have everything holiday 25% off. Um, and that will continue this weekend and next weekend. We are here until uh, December 24th and we're happy to deliver locally. We're here to greet you with a smile and our best Christmas carols and um, we would love to see you. In Spokane, Peter Choi, for News Now. All right, Peter, thank you for that. The Washington Supreme Court decided it will not have a hand in the future of the Pac-12 conference, deciding it will not review a lower court's decision to give Washington State and Oregon State Universities control of the Pac-12 Board of Directors. The Washington, or excuse me, the University of Washington and other departing Pac-12 schools asked the court to review the case, saying it caused irreparable harm. The justices denied motions for both discretionary and direct review, leaving the Whitman County judges ruling in place. A big win for WSU and OSU. Meantime, it's been a rough 24 hours for our local men's basketball programs. First, the Gonzaga Bulldogs lost at the hand of UConn once again. The Husky size proving to be too much for the Zags as they roll UW 67 60, or excuse me, Gonzaga 67, 76 to 63. I wish I could talk tonight. And GU now sits at 8 and 3 on the year. And on earlier this afternoon down in Phoenix, the Washington State Cougars tried to mount a comeback against Santa Clara, but that fell short as they got handed their second loss in the year and certainly a missed opportunity for the Cougs. And Alex, while this certainly wasn't a weekend, uh, many fans were hoping for with these results. 
it's not the end of the world either because the season is still early after all. Yeah, it's still December. That's important to remember. We're only about a third of the way through this season. Still plenty of time to bolster the resume, but you'd like to be able to capitalize on every opportunity that you can get. For the Bulldogs, there's more concern when we talk about their national stage as they go up against elite talent come March. And UConn is certainly one of those teams that's just designed to give them all kinds of fits. Like you said, their size gave them all kinds of issues compared to this smaller squad like the Bulldogs. And then you add their inability to shoot. That's just a recipe for disaster. The Zags were two from 12 from three point range. And that's just not going to cut it at any level of basketball. I mean, I think we took the right one. B. Huff had three of them teed up there perfectly. And he's, he's, he's been shooting the heck out of it. And, yep. Had a couple popcorn out, and, and, and the other ones just missed. Now, as for Washington State, it's a lot of the same with this squad. We've seen them go on long-scoring droughts the last few years, and today they went cold again, going more than 10 minutes without a field goal in the first half, and that was ultimately the difference in this one as they fall to Santa Clara. Certainly a game that Kyle Smith would have really liked to have, but like I said, it's still important to remember we still have the conference play to go, long way to go uh, with both of these squads, but they're both talented enough to make the NCAA tournament. Yeah, 10 minutes without a basket. That's yeah. It's difficult to watch. A little watch. rough there. Especially as a fan, yeah. Well, and they'll have yeah. their hands full with a Boise State Broncos squad coming to town here in just a couple of days. Is that right? Yeah, on yeah. Thursday night. All right. Well, Spokane Arena. This game we'll have an eye on. Alex, thanks for that. And when we come back tonight, a staple of downtown served its last customers tonight after a 74-year run. Tonight, we say goodbye to one of Spokane's first Japanese restaurants. Plus, as package thefts are surging this holiday season, Spokane's Spear Unit is cracking down what you can do if you fall victim to one of these crimes. And we are watching fog develop around Kootenai County this evening. Good news is, unlike, say, where we were on Friday morning, it is not super dense, at least for now. I do expect that to change a little bit, though, as we go through the night. We will show you when we'll break out of this foggy weather pattern and what comes next in the lead up to Christmas in your first alert forecast. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Plus. Inside Edition. These are the stories that impact your life. The holidays inspire us all to connect. With family. With friends. No matter what the road throws at you. So find the connection you're looking for this winter in a new SUV with standard all-wheel drive during the Mazda Season of Inspiration sales event. Right now at Foothills Mazda, get 0% financing for five years and zero down payment with approved credit on the all-wheel drive Mazda CX-5. Shop now at SpokaneMazda.com. This holiday season, Cal Auto Credit would like to give you the gift of an affordable car, truck, or SUV just in time for winter and finance something to fit your budget so you have money left over for Christmas. Happy Holidays! At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. Roundups like an accidental savings account. I get paid every time I buy something. It's like a bonus for me. Hi, I'm Ken. And I'm Donnie. We lead the advocates. The advocates fight for each of our injured clients. We take on big insurance and get big results. We're both advocates, but we're very different from each other. That's true. I say potato, she says... Potato. Oh, I guess we're the same there. Potato, do people say that a different way? Potato. Who says it that way? Never mind. Injured, you deserve an advocate. $3 pitcher night, a couple cocktails, an edible, and a nature documentary. What do all these people have in common? A friend like you, who offered a ride or made sure they got in a ride share or provided a couch to crash on. Thanks for keeping the roads a little safer tonight, Washington. Together, we get there.
All right, friends, time for your first alert forecast, and it is calm, foggy, cloudy, and well, we've seen this before here on this uh, kind of uh, late fall, early winter time period. We've got air quality issues. Look at this. Places like Deer Park, Spokane, and through a good chunk of North Idaho, sitting at moderate air quality. We've got an air stagnation advisory here in this dark gray color in place across a good chunk of the Pacific Northwest, not just the inland Northwest, because of just how still it is right now. To give you a refresh of what's going on here, we've got high pressure overhead, calm weather, but that also usually means there's a layer of warm air that's well above the ground. And so when we cool off at night, well, that air's trapped down there. It doesn't have anywhere to go. And that means we also get the fog and the low cloud cover that's trapped down here that can't mix with the air above it and dissipate in the afternoon. And with those calm winds, it's not moving anywhere. And it also means that pollutants, especially in the Spokane area, can become an issue as time goes on. Good news is, is that this is not going to be a long term situation, this stagnant air. But we do have that advisory. We'll continue until Monday morning. Expecting uh, quite a bit of fog around the area again tonight. If you don't see fog, you'll see that low cloud cover that's been hanging around most of the day. Although I did get a brief glimpse of sunshine at my house today, we can hope for the same heading into tomorrow, but I think my hope is fading with how rock solid all of the clouds in the Columbia Basin looked on the satellite picture today. Here's how tomorrow's temperatures look. So we will drop down to the 20s briefly, and then we'll push our way up into the 30s, just above freezing, which is happens to be where we are right now, and then a slow cool off through the night. We'll start to see things begin a little bit more mixed up in our atmosphere and some changes heading into Monday. Our highs 38 in Coeur d'Alene, Spokane at 34. We'll see a few spots try to get close to 40 degrees. Our best chance to see a little sunshine peak out I think is everywhere south of Interstate 90. If you're up north, you ain't going to see nothing for Sunday, maybe Monday. We got our next storm system out in the Pacific off the coast of California. It's going to be tracking to the north towards us. And that means it's going to bring some warmer air along for the ride, which means, unfortunately, for all of us snow-loving skiers and snowboarders, or maybe you just would like a healthy snowpack like I would, well, things aren't looking so great. We'll see a little snow in the Cascades. This is Monday afternoon, a chance for a few showers, rain showers in the Columbia Basin, and then some late night rain potential for Spokane and Coeur d'Alene Monday night. Most of the action, though, is going to come on Tuesday. 80% chance of rain for Tuesday. Not going to rain the whole day, but you got a pretty good chance of getting wet. Plus, we'll see these very warm temperatures, highs of the 40s, pretty unusual for this point in the year. Oh. Uh, the chance of a white Christmas is not looking great, I was just Jordan. about to say it. Yeah, you beat me to it, Matt. Thanks for that. Well, tonight, a mainstay in downtown Spokane for the last 74 years said goodbye to its customers. The Sukiyaki Inn was one of the first Japanese restaurants in Spokane's downtown Spokane, and tonight was the last of a bygone era. Many people stopped to eat at the restaurant one last time today. The owner, Amiko Collette, started to work at the restaurant and has been doing so since the 1970s. She says she's getting too old to manage the kitchen by herself. And it's time to spend some more time with her family. Customer Marissa English says that the restaurant has been a special place for her family. Memories, um, good times with family, birthdays, different celebrations. And the owner says she hasn't seen her sister in Japan for decades, so she's planning a visit to her next year. The end of a great chapter here in Spokane. Well, the holiday season is in full swing, and with just two weeks left until Christmas, you may be doing some last-minute gift shopping. And with so many people shopping online, the Spokane Police Department says it's cracking down on package thieves. SPD's Stolen Property and Recovery Unit, or SPEAR as you might know them, is ramping up on its emphasis on these thefts. They say that you could always report incidents of package thefts as soon as they happen. SPD also encourages posting any footage on the Nextdoor app or any other social media app. They've even started using bait packages, which are empty boxes to try to deter more thefts. I think the biggest thing that uh, that will be helpful is just having people know that they're out there, having the criminals know that they're out there, and maybe they'll be a little less inclined to go steal packages. Um, but in rest assured, we're putting them in good locations and monitoring them so that when they do get stolen, we'll be there. Spokane police have a, uh, have a section of their Facebook page dedicated to posting footage of these thefts. If you recognize anyone, report it to Crime Check or send an email to thefttips at spokanepolice.org.
And still ahead tonight, thousands are hitting the road for the holiday season, and that's why for the next two weeks, officers will be adding emphasis patrols to find any impaired drivers. How long those will be in place? Plus, a number of detained Palestinian civilians have been released. Tonight, they share their harrowing stories of detainment, raising questions about Israel's methods in this war. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Whatever your plans are this season, do more in a new Chevy. Or qualified lessees can get this Equinox for around $239 a month. Chevrolet, together let's drive. Tony, your parents know you're over here again, right? Yep. Great. Tony lives next door. See, his parents decided to just use their phone for home internet. So when everyone is on, Tony's over here streaming and drinking all my soda. My dog. Get internet on the Xfinity 10G network for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. We're going to bed, Tony. Good night. I'll lock up if I leave. Get real home internet on the next generation 10G network only from Xfinity. My darling granddaughter, this camera was given to me when I was your age. May it capture your big, beautiful life the way it did mine. It's so surprising. The Spokanites of Spokane are nestling into holiday glee with gifts on their minds. What Santa might bring me? What can I get grandma that isn't ugly dishes? For my uncle, a Traeger, he loves to smoke fishes. My kids now have it all. I just don't understand. Good thing the general store is a toy wonderland. A gift for everyone in one stop, I swear. Carhartt jackets, Yeti coolers, even thermal underwear. No matter the person, how big or how small, there's a gift here for everyone. So come one and come all. This holiday season, Cal Auto Credit would like to give you the gift of an affordable car, truck, or SUV just in time for winter. With current prices and expenses going up, Cal Auto Credit would like to help you lower your monthly payments and finance something to fit your budget so you have money left over for Christmas. Plus, you'll start the new year off with less stress while improving your credit score. Can't afford it. Kelly and Mark is entertainment's number one talk show. Weekdays at 9 and 3. Welcome back. With less than two weeks left until Christmas, many people are going to be hitting the roads to be with their friends and family this holiday season. And last year, more than 700 people died on Washington roads, and more than half of those involved drugs or alcohol. And that's why for the next two weeks, officers will be adding emphasis patrols to find any impaired drivers. Last year, the Washington Traffic Safety Commission saw an all-time high in road deaths. And it's not just people drinking, but combining alcohol and drugs. These patrols aren't to scare people. They're to make sure that everyone makes it to their holiday destinations safely. Everybody should be able to travel, walk, ride, uh, get to where they're going this holiday season without losing their life or a loved one's life. And these patrols will continue through January 1st. Over $26,000 has been raised to help over 1,000 Spokane Public School students in unstable housing situations. The HEART program will give those students gift cards before winter break. The district says it's overwhelmed by the generosity of the community from a several thousand dollar anonymous cash donation to a $12 Target gift card that a student purchased with all of their piggy bank money. Every dollar will provide support for a student in need and to let them know that they're loved. Around the Northwest here tonight, Starbucks could be forced to reopen some Seattle area stores over union busting allegations from the National Labor Relations Board. Starbucks cited safety concerns when it closed six shops in Seattle last year but a local Starbucks barista claims that's not the whole story. I believe the announcement came less than two months after we had uh, voted to uh, unionize. Now the labor, the labor board is seeking an order for Starbucks to reopen the Seattle stores and offer workers their jobs back. Starbucks denies the allegations of union busting. If a settlement cannot be reached between the parties, 
The case is scheduled to go before a judge. Stick around. We'll be right back after the break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. My darling granddaughter, this camera was given to me when I was your age. May it capture your big, beautiful life the way it did mine. It's so surprising what the little things can do. Wouldn't it be wonderful if everybody... Oh, Merry Christmas, Grandma. So you want somewhere to play? We got you. A nice, relaxing stay? We got you. Want to be entertained? We got you. Want to play golf all day? We got you. Some tasty food, we got you. Heard you want to do some shopping, we got you. The live music is always popping at the Corner Lane Casino. At the Corner Lane Casino. Corner Lane Casino. The winning is just the beginning. This holiday season, Cal Auto Credit would like to give you the gift of an affordable car, truck, or SUV just in time for winter and finance something to fit your budget so you have money left over for Christmas. Happy Holidays. Hey, Donnie, can you give me one reason to call the advocates? Sorry, Ken, I can't. I can? I mean, who fights like we do? You can't give me one reason? Nope. How about that we take on big insurance bullies? We're not afraid of any case. We're passionate and smart. Really? You can't come up with one reason? I can't come up with one, Ken. Because there are 500 million. All the money we've recovered for our clients. Injured, you deserve justice. You deserve an advocate. $3 pitcher night, a couple cocktails, an edible, and a nature documentary. What do all these people have in common? A friend like you, who offered a ride or made sure they got in a ride share or provided a couch to crash on. Thanks for keeping the roads a little safer tonight, Washington. Together, we get there. Am I glad to see you? More Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source. The Los Angeles County Medical Examiner has determined Matthew Perry died from the effects of the anesthetic ketamine. The 54-year-old Friends actor died on October 28th in his pool. He was on ketamine infusion therapy for depression and anxiety prior to his death, which was determined to be an accident. To the Middle East tonight, the Israeli forces have detained hundreds of Palestinian boys and men in northern Gaza. Many of those detained have already been identified as civilians by their relatives and employers. A select few who were released recently shared their harrowing experience with CNN. And we do want to warn you that this story has images that are graphic and might not be suitable to watch if you have perhaps younger children in the room. Jeremy Diamond reports. Bruised, lacerated, and swollen. These are the hands of Nimr Abu Ras after he was detained for five days by Israeli forces. These are from the plastic wires. We were handcuffed behind our backs. His wounds are not unique in this corner of Gaza's Al-Aqsa Martyrs Hospital. Here, six boys and four men, their hands numbered with red marker, were being treated hours after Israeli forces released them without charge. Mahmoud is just 14 years old. This is from the boots. He and his father were detained by Israeli soldiers in the Al Zaytun neighborhood of Gaza City, where the Israeli military has been engaged in heavy fighting with Hamas. They would tie your hands behind your back and drag you like a dog. Plastic handcuffs scars on your arms. Depending on the mood of one of them, they would come kick you with their boots. I didn't do anything to him. He just decided to come and kick me. Mahmoud and his father are among hundreds of Palestinian boys and men, many of them identified by their relatives or employers as civilians, who have been blindfolded, stripped and detained over the last week. They put us on the floor and put their feet on our heads. They would ask, are you Hamas? And beat us. When we wanted to sleep, we couldn't because it was so cold. And when we asked for something to wear or cover ourselves with, 
they would beat us. The 10 boys and men who spoke to CNN described nearly identical accounts of abuse. Several said they were not allowed to go to the bathroom, made to sleep on grains of rice spread on the floor, and given little to no food or water. A day after he arrived at the hospital, 40-year-old Mahmoud Islim can barely stand. His relatives say he is diabetic and had no access to insulin during his five-day detention. All arrived physically and psychologically exhausted. There were signs of torture on their arms and signs of beating all over their bodies. In a statement, the Israeli military said it was detaining individuals suspected of involvement in terrorist activity and that those who are found not to be taking part in terrorist activities are released. The IDF said the individuals detained are treated in accordance with international law and that it strives to treat any detainee with dignity. Any incident in which the guidelines were not followed will be looked into. A spokesman for the Israeli military declined to address specific allegations of mistreatment or provide an explanation for the detention of the 10 boys and men interviewed by CNN. International law is quite clear that you can only detain civilians when absolutely necessary for imperative reasons of security. If they're not charged within 48 hours, they should be released. Uh, the reality here is that the Israeli government has um, uh, you know, violated many of those provisions uh, before. Jeremy Diamond, CNN, near the Israel-Gaza border. When we come back tonight, a Satanism after school club is causing some parents to see red while raising questions about the First Amendment. Plus, as the weather remains tolerable, there's some great hiking opportunities at Riverside State Park's Bowl and Pitcher. We show you the beautiful views from above in our Air 4 adventure. And speaking of tolerable, I've got some uh, ideas about how long that tolerable weather may last as we continue on with warm and, at least for now, pretty stagnant weather in our region. We'll show you when things start to change coming up after this. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. It's the holiday sale at Furniture Row, so there's no better time to shop the largest selection of sofas, tables, beds, and accessories. And best of all, everything is on sale. Plus, five years, no interest financing. The holiday sale, only at Furniture Row. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of them in a new Honda. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new haunt during Happy Haunt Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Do more together. Whatever your plans are this season, do more in a new Chevy. Or qualified lessees can get this Equinox for around $239 a month. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. This camera was given to me when I was your age. May it capture your big, beautiful life the way it did mine. It's so surprising what the little things can do. Wouldn't it be wonderful if everybody... Oh, Merry Christmas, Grandma. It's the holiday sale at Denver Mattress. And right now, everything is on sale. Like the Queen Size Summit, now only $332.49. Get a $300 gift when you purchase a Tempur-Pedic, plus five years no interest and free shipping. The holiday sale, on now at Denver Mattress. Live 
from downtown Spokane. This is 4 News Now, Special Edition. Welcome back to a special edition of 4 News Now. Matt Gray hustling over to join us here at the desk. And Matt, you know, we're nine days away from Christmas. You wouldn't really know it by this weather. Oh, no, you would not. Yeah. This is about the chilliest day we've had yeah. in a while. Surprising. And, that, and that's just because we've had all the clouds overneath, and that has kept us from getting too cool at night, but also has kept us from getting as warm as we've seen in recent days. And so here we are this evening, still cloudy, and we're still even starting to see a little bit of fog development around uh, Coeur d'Alene, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But our temperatures is what I really want to show you here. No, it's not snowing at the Coeur d'Alene Airport, by the way. Uh, we're having some issues there. But temperatures are in the low 30s. That's generally where they've been for most of the day. I think we'll drop into the 20s pretty briefly. And we've seen some fog moving in and out of Kootenai County. Visibility has kind of varied between a mile to about four or five miles. Meanwhile, things have been a lot more clear on the Spokane County side of our little metro area in our little corner of the world. I do expect more fog development as we head later on tonight and we slowly cool off. Off. I do think we'll be in the upper 20s in the morning, but it's going to be a very brief interlude to cooler temperatures, but certainly it'll be enough if you're up early enough, you'll likely need an ice scraper. Then, as we head into the beginning of the week, this stagnant weather that we're in fades away as our next system rolls in. The question is, though, is it going to bring rain or is it going to bring snow? We'll have that answer coming up. All right, Matt, thanks for that. And while this weather is okay and tolerable right now. There's still some great local spots you can hike in here in Spokane County, especially during the winter months. And so in tonight's Air Force Adventure, we want to explore the natural beauty of Riverside State Park's Bowl and Pitcher. Welcome to uh, Bowl and Pitcher and the Riverside State Park. It is a geological formation that came about after the uh, Ice Age floods that carved out a lot of this basalt in this river valley. On about 1910, uh, when we started getting settlers here, they, they saw it and they thought it looked like a bowl and pitcher, like an old school ewer and bowl. Eddy of water that swirls, and you can see it now because the water's kind of rising with the rain we've had recently, and uh, it, it, that's what they thought it looked like, and the name stuck. It's a gorgeous part of the park. It's one of the most popular. Swinging Bridge is a big draw all year round. It was built in 1942, and it's been a big attraction. It goes over the most gorgeous part of this canyon in our park. Campground, it's open year round. Some people like to tough it out. <laughs> Winter camping. I think we need to spend more time out in nature, so this is my way of getting out. One of those state parks that doesn't tend to snow that much. There's a little bit of snow, so other than that, um, it's close to family. The Bowen Pitcher has day use areas. There's picnic tables. Uh, there's also hiking. If you cross over the Swinging Bridge, you connect up here to the Centennial Trail and then all the other hiking trails. We have uh, miles and miles of hiking trails. If we get snow, some people like to snowshoe. If we get enough snow on the Centennial, we don't plow it, so some people like to uh, cross-country ski, too. Most cities don't have such a big state park right on their doorstep, and we're five minutes from downtown Spokane. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. This holiday season, Cal Auto Credit would like to give you the gift of an affordable car, truck, or SUV just in time for winter. With current prices and expenses going up, Cal Auto Credit would like to help you lower your monthly payments and finance something to fit your budget so you have money left over for Christmas. Plus, you'll start the new year off with less stress while improving your credit score. Can't afford it. Wow, you've really made our dreams come true. Life's better when you're under our roof. It's... Because when you feel totally protected, you can enjoy the dreams you've worked so hard to achieve. Guess that's what American Family Insurance is for. He's the wise twin. 
I'm talking about Save up to 23% when you bundle home and auto with American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. I mean, enough with the cold feet. It's time to move this along. Take the next step. I hear you. You're tired of waiting. Yes. But at Eyeglass World, you don't have to wait. They're not like all those other guys. They make your glasses right there in their same-day lab. No waiting? Mm-mm. Do you mind if I go... You mind if I finish your cannoli? For a limited time, get 50% off lenses with frames from many of our designer brands. It's the designer sale, only at Eyeglass World. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of them in a new Honda. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. What do you got on your list? MeTV is making a list, and you can check it twice. Go to MeTV.com for the full list of our very merry MeTV holiday programming. A merry MeTV. Watch over the air in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene on MeTV 4.2. This holiday season, Cal Auto Credit would like to give you the gift of an affordable car, truck, or SUV just in time for winter and finance something to fit your budget so you have money left over for Christmas. Happy Holidays. The Jennifer Hudson Show. Weekdays at 2, only on 4 News Now. Well, let's focus here a little bit on our current weather pattern, which is... Uh, a bit of an issue for air quality. That's right. Air quality has actually gone down here over the past couple of days because high pressure is in control. And in this time of the year, that often means we get what's inversions. So we get a layer of warm air that's over the top of the air that cools down to well below freezing in our valleys. And that means once this sets up, unless it gets really windy or another storm system comes along, Basically, we have no wind to uh, kind of mix up the atmosphere and get rid of all the fog and the clouds and, in this case, the smog and pollution that happen. And that is going to be the reason why we've got some moderate air quality across many parts of the inland northwest. And we're going to continue to see um, air quality largely in the moderate range for the rest of the weekend and in, even into the beginning of next week with an air stagnation advisory that goes until Monday. Another thing you see often with inversions is fog that just doesn't want to go away. It just lifts a little bit in the afternoon to become low cloud cover and then drops right back down as the sun goes down. Certainly we're seeing that across the North Idaho panhandle. I expect things to kind of uh, thicken up as far as the fog goes as we head through the rest of the night. So that is your weekend. Here are the changes coming though. Rain Monday night into Tuesday and along with this will come warmer temperatures along for the ride. So let's fast forward and let's show you this system as it moves in. Pretty quiet Sunday. Here's Monday, but this is about six in the evening. Warm air coming along with this is this storm generally coming at us from a southwest angle. That means warm air comes in and that means our snow level is going to be rising which means outside of the very highest peaks in the Cascades, I'm basically not expecting any snow to come along with this storm. Now, the best chance for rain is going to be pretty late Monday night and then early on Tuesday morning. Great news if you got plans on Tuesday, even though we have a high chance of rain, it's likely that the second half of the day will actually be fairly dry. We'll keep you updated on the timing over the next couple of days as we continue to watch how this evolves here. But overall, the rain cooperating with us for our daily activities, but it is rain. It is not snow. We could certainly use some snow, especially skiers and borders. I'm sure you're wanting more and it seems pretty unlikely. This is all, takes us all the way through the 26th of December and we have very strong odds across the Pacific Northwest and even into the Northern Plains for some very above average temperatures. And so far, our actual forecast numbers are bearing that out. Temperatures in the upper 20s and low 30s tonight and we'll see mid to upper 30s in many areas. We'll see a few spots get into the 40s in North Idaho and down through the Palouse region of Eastern Washington. That'll be the best chance for us to see maybe a few minutes of sunshine. But this time of year, you got to believe it when I see it as far as when it comes to sun. 
So there's your rain chance for Tuesday, but look at these temperatures all the way through the first official day of winter, the winter solstice. And then even into a slight cool down the weekend before Christmas, there's just it's very warm temperatures by mid-December standards. And so I think our chances of a white Christmas are just about done, Jordan. Not great news if you're a fan of snow like I am, Matt. Thanks so much for that. Well, Quaker Oats is recalling more than two dozen of its granola bars and granola cereal because the products may have been contaminated with salmonella. The company is recalling 25 types of chewy bars, 10 types of granola bars, and eight types of granola cereal. The products of which are pictured here and they're sold throughout the United States. The company says if people have any of the products, they should throw them out immediately. Quicker says it has not received any reports of anyone getting sick. A Tennessee elementary school has become the stage of a heated religious and political debate. A Satanism after school club is causing some parents to see red while raising questions about the First Amendment. Here's ABC's Andrea Fuji. This morning, the controversy as an after school Satan club comes to a Memphis elementary school next month. We have very young children and they are being used for a political agenda or some kind of agenda that has no place in our schools. Memphis Shelby County Schools representatives spoke to concerned parents about how they don't approve of the club, but under a 2001 Supreme Court ruling, schools can't discriminate against a religious group based on their viewpoints and must allow them to rent space at Chimney Rock Elementary. I do not endorse I do not support the beliefs of this organization at the center of the recent headlines. Officials say the Satanic Temple that will run the after school Satan Club is a nonprofit organization and follow district protocols to apply for space. The district does not discriminate against any legitimate nonprofit group based on religion or its beliefs. Chimney Rock Elementary would be the group's fifth active club in the country. While leaders from the Satanic Temple insist they aren't teaching students anything religious religious, their beliefs are firm. It's important to us that people do know that we self-identify as Satanists, even if we're not teaching Satanism, just so people have an idea that that perspective about what Satanic uh, practitioners are is completely wrong. The club's director insists parents contacted them expressing interest. We do a lot of community projects. We do a lot of STEAM type activities, science based activities. And at the end of the day, um, we have decided not to teach about Satan. The school district says children will need a signed permission slip to join. The after school Satan Club director says they can only operate in schools that have other religious clubs. Chimney Rock Elementary does have a Christian club, and now there are calls for all faith based clubs to be banned from district schools. The interim superintendent vows that won't happen. Andrea from GE, ABC News, New York. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. This holiday season, Cal Auto Credit would like to give you the gift of an affordable car, truck, or SUV just in time for winter. With current prices and expenses going up, Cal Auto Credit would like to help you lower your monthly payments and finance something to fit your budget so you have money left over for Christmas. Plus, you'll start the new year off with less stress while improving your credit score. Can't afford it. $3 pitcher night, a couple cocktails, an edible, and a nature documentary. What do all these people have in common? A friend like you, who offered a ride, or made sure they got in a ride share, or provided a couch to crash on. Thanks for keeping the roads a little safer tonight, Washington. Together, we get there. Hi, I'm Ken. And I'm Donnie. We lead the advocates. The advocates fight for each of our injured clients. We take on big insurance and get big results. We're both advocates, but we're very different from each other. That's true. I say potato, she says... Potato. Oh, I guess we're the same there. Potato, do people say that a different way? Potato. Who says it that way? Never mind. Injured, you deserve an advocate. 
My darling granddaughter, this camera was given to me when I was your age. May it capture your big, beautiful life the way it did mine. It's so surprising what the little things can do. Wouldn't it be wonderful if everybody... Oh, Merry Christmas, Grandma. This holiday season... Cal Auto Credit would like to give you the gift of an affordable car, truck, or SUV just in time for winter and finance something to fit your budget so you have money left over for Christmas. Happy Holidays! KXLY, celebrating 70 years on the air. Well, coming into the day, the Washington State Cougars look like a team that can make a run at the NCAA tournament, but they quickly reminded us of just how far they have to go to get to that point. The Cougs take it on Santa Clara down in Phoenix this morning for the Jerry Colangelo Classic. In the first half, Andre Yakimovsky nails the three to give the Cougs the lead, but that would be the team's final field goal for a long time long time. We're going to fast forward to three minutes left in the half as Kamani Huinsu grabs the steal and takes off on the fast break, finishes with the dunk, but Santa Clara already doing the damage, almost up by 20 at that point. A long way back for the Cougs. In the second half, the Cougs do claw their way back into this one. Yakimovsky with a nice drive to the basket to make it a six-point game, but the Broncos said enough is enough. A couple possessions later, Adama Ball drains the long three. That would be good from NBA Range, and Santa Clara hangs on for the 69-61 win, delivering the Cougs their second loss of the season. Now, Washington State is going to travel up to Spokane this Thursday, where they're going to welcome in the Spokane native Tyson Dagenhart in the Boise State Broncos. BSU won the last time these two teams played inside the Spokane Arena. Should be pretty fun. Now, for the second time in 2023, the Gonzaga Bulldogs find themselves on the losing end of a matchup against Utah UConn. While the Bulldogs will still be in the top 25 come Monday, they should Showed they still have a long way to go if they want to contend for a national championship this season. Our Julian Minnison has more from Seattle. This matchup had all the feel of an NCAA tournament game, but the Zags certainly didn't play like it. A double digit loss to the Yukon Huskies and now Gonzaga has lost two of their last three games and is running out of quality opponents to beat in the non conference schedule. Not to mention the Bulldogs shoot just 25% from three over the past three games and they need to turn things around quickly before league play begins. They felt it. They felt they competed physically. We just got to be able to step up and make shots in games like this, and you need, you know, eight games out of your best guys. Prepare us for tough games. Um, two great teams, and um, just you could take a little bit from them uh, in terms of what they do in terms of flow and stuff. So we can take that back and bring it to us and uh, try and work on ourselves and uh, get to that level. Gonzaga has a few more opportunities to get some quality non-conference wins to boost their tournament resume. They got San Diego State at the end of the month and then Kentucky in February. Could be the difference between hosting some first round games in Spokane and having to travel away from home for the first few rounds in March. In some other news, head coach Mark Few said guard Luka Kranovich broke his hand in a non-contact injury and shoot around. No timetable on Kranovich's return, but he will be out for some time. The Zags are already missing steel venters, and without Kranovich, they got a whole lot thinner. In Seattle, Julian Minnesone, 4 News Now Sports. Well, to the NFL, Gardner Minshew and the Colts taking on Pittsburgh. Both teams fighting for playoff positions in the AFC. In the second quarter, Indianapolis finds themselves down a couple of scores, but that changes after Minshew dumps the pass off to Zach Moss. He muscles his way into the end zone to make it a 13-7 contest. Start for a big day for Gardner there. At the end of the half, Colts in the red zone again. Minshew connects with DJ Montgomery for the touchdown, and the former Coug goes for 215 yards and three touchdowns as Indy gets the 30-13 win. They improved to 8-6 and six on the season. Tell me why they can't win the Super Bowl, Jordan. Minshew, he's going to do it. Hey, speaking of Jordan, the Idaho Vandals will be out without their best receiver in program history next season as Hayden Hatton declared for the 2024 NFL Draft yesterday, and his stock really couldn't be higher at this point. Hatton finished his Vandal career as the most accomplished receiver in program history. 244 catches, more than 3,400 yards, and 33 touchdowns. Oh yeah, and was twice named an FCS All-American. Not bad there. Now, Hayden's going to look to become the first Idaho player taken in the draft since Caden Ellis was selected in the seventh round back in 2019. For News Now, we'll be right back.
Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. This holiday season, Cal Auto Credit would like to give you the gift of an affordable car, truck, or SUV just in time for winter. With current prices and expenses going up, Cal Auto Credit would like to help you lower your monthly payments and finance something to fit your budget so you have money left over for Christmas. Plus, you'll start the new year off with less stress while improving your credit score. Can't afford it. At the Salvation Army, a rent check isn't just a rent check. It's a hangout, a safe haven, a sanctuary, a place to grow and grow closer, a treasured past and plans for the future. With your gift, families know that wherever they go, they can always come back home. Stay safe while traveling this winter. Before you head out, trust the First Alert weather team to pinpoint the safest times to go and exactly what to expect. 4 News Now First Alert weather on air, on the app, and streaming on KXY+. This Christmas, treat yourself or a loved one to a new vehicle from Finley. With delayed payments for up to 90 days and bigger than normal trade-in values for your old ride. Giving you plenty of reasons to upgrade to a new RAV4, Tacoma, or Tundra truck. And if you're looking for a certified pre-owned vehicle, we've got lots of great choices for everyone. I'm looking for something sporty and fast. Don't you have somewhere to be? Ho, ho, ho! The Spokaneites of Spokane are nestling into holiday glee with gifts on their minds. What Santa might bring me? What can I get grandma that isn't ugly dishes? For my uncle, a Traeger, he loves to smoke fishes. My kids now have it all. I just don't understand. Good thing the general store is a toy wonderland. A gift for everyone in one stop, I swear. Carhartt jackets, Yeti coolers, even thermal underwear. No matter the person, how big or how small, there's a gift here for everyone. So come one and come all. This holiday season, Cal Auto Credit would like to give you the gift of an affordable car, truck, or SUV just in time for winter and finance something to fit your budget so you have money left over for Christmas. Happy Holidays! All right, here's your not-so-wintry forecast with uh, the winter solstice coming up on Thursday. Hey, positive here. We're going to actually start gaining some daylight after Thursday. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so great. We're actually gaining just a very small amount during the sunset hours. We're still losing in the morning. We're going to be in the driver's seat. Summer is getting that. right around the corner, Summer's guys. Summer right around the corner. Get the pro tanks. Oh. Get the pro tanks. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, this lack of winter weather might take away from the fun of some of these winter movies. And we all have strong opinions about what the best holiday films might be. So, Cakes so will I come up with a bracket of the mm. best movies to watch for this time of year. And there's 32 of them, and we're in the Sweet 16 right now. So you can vote right now on KXY.com. The voting rounds last for the next...